Hello, what's up guys? My name is Ahmad. This is NGSU and welcome to Mortifying Mondays. Y'all may ask. What is a Mortifying Monday? Monday? Well, we're gonna start doing all Mondays. We're gonna start looking at horror stories, uh, animated horror stories, um, to make you scared on a Monday night. Because why not be scared? I, I, I recommend watching this video in the dark. Because I, they got a disclaimer, so... I mean, it might be a banger. Who knows? But, uh... Let's get right into the horror. This happened to me about a year ago. I used to be a janitor for a cleaning agency. I would basically take contract jobs to clean in various locations. One day... My cleaning agency gave me a cleaning contract at a psychiatric ward, also known as an asylum. To be honest, let me see how. Let, let me tell you how I know for a fact that this guy's white. There's no way in hell that I'm going to an asylum to go a whole bunch of crazy people. I, I'm gonna. I'm, why am I entertaining it? Would you entertain it? Don't. don't you know what? I'm gonna put a poll. I'm gonna put a poll up next, next on my story. But uh, if this is on YouTube, uh, right here, would would you entertain this? Cause I, I sure as mm, nope, n not a chance. But all right, if if you would entertain this or go do this, post it right here. All right, let's. I'll keep playing. I was a bit hesitant to take the job just because of the superstition of asylums being haunted, but I took it anyway because the pay was decent. Later that day, I arrive there. I see a huge old looking building. To be honest, I was quite creeped out since the asylum was secluded in the middle of nowhere. That's the second red flag. First, you decided to go into an asylum. Second, it's secluded, away from everybody in all civilization. If you if something goes wrong and you need to run, there is nowhere you can go except for your car to leave, bro. It's not like you can scream out and say, hey, I need help. No, you're just going to be done. Okay, like, I would, this whole situation is uncomfortable. I'm, I'm going to let it play a little bit more. When I arrive inside, I notice people giving me an uninviting stare. I'm not just talking about the patients. I'm also talking about the employees as well. To be honest, I kept it professional and began to do my job. I remember mopping the hallway and seeing some really bizarre things. I saw some creepy looking patients that had a disturbing look to them. I don't know, they just looked like the kind of people you would see in one of those exorcist movies. Uh uh, mm mm, yeah, fuck that, mm mm, nah. Yeah, mm -mm. honey, yep, you, you said we're leaving? Yes. Uh, oh, oh, okay, cool. Yep, oh, my stuff's already packed. Alright. <clears throat> I'll be on my way. <sighs> okay, get the fuck out of here. Y'all telling me y'all wouldn't do the same. I would be out like a mother. There's no way, no way on God's green orange earth there it that that i am going to no i'm leaving no why are the inmates i'm sorry not the inmates but why are the patients outside of their domain they should be able to that isn't there are some rules against that where they could just walk around freely i mean they're in an asylum for a reason right or i mean is it just me it, it i mean i thought people were in asylum for a reason. Oh, may, maybe I'm tripping, but I, I, I cool. It's whatever. <laughs> I'ma let it slide. Oh, let's just play the video. I remember seeing this one guy that really gave me. Yo, you know, you can't tell me. For all the people that go to my school, you know who you are. If this man was black, you can't tell me that wouldn't be Mr. Smith. Like, 
Oh my god. <laughs> that man came out. That man came out that door like it's the so so <laughs> <laughs> Like yo. Why is his body so long and his head so small? Like <laughs> I, I think he I think he might be pulling like a uh, that one episode of Family Guy where Peter was all legs. He had no torso. I mean, he has shoulders, but you know, that might just be the hips. I, <laughs> why? Who no. <laughs> Whose idea was <laughs> Oh my gosh. I, I know I should be laughing at this is supposed to be a horror story, but like the chills. It was a man who looked to be about seven feet tall. Alright, but peep this woman's face in the back. Like, she's looking at him like he just, like, pissed in her Cheerios. And so, like, like instead of her milk, it, it was just it was just straight, straight yellow bacteria. She was just... Like, like she looks so disgusted. You know that... You know that... That's the face that you make. That, like, you know how... One second. <sighs> when you grab essential oils and uh, you head to the restroom, and then after you're done, and then you look in the mirror, that's the face that you give yourself. <laughs> You'd be so ashamed for no reason. You'd just be like, <sighs> back here again. But all right, I'm. <laughs> He gave me this really disturbing smile like he wanted to kill me. I can see a nurse instructing him to lay on his bed. He didn't look too happy after that. I also remember seeing a swimming class taking place. Well, not exactly a swimming class, just a bunch of patients in a swimming pool. They were all holding an exercise ball and mimicking the actions of the instructor. I personally found it unsettling to say the least. When it was around the end of my shift, I was getting ready to head home. I noticed all the patients' doors were closed, except for one room. I could see someone laying on the floor with their legs halfway across the door. Roll the clip. I'll be on my way. <sighs> Get the fuck out of here. Young we fuck if you Nah, bro. There's not a chance in the hell that I'm staying here. They got me fucked up. No, no, mm mm. It is bread, but <sighs> not worth your life. That's not. It's not. Mind your business. It was a bit alarming. Turn around and leave. To be laying on the floor like Turn around that. and leave. I then saw the person getting yanked into the room. Turn around and leave. It honestly startled the crap out of me. Turn around and leave. I then noticed a puddle of blood spilling out from the Turn room and, and onto leave. the hallway. Why are you still talking? I decided to approach the room and see what the hell was going on. I was like, white people. Are you stupid? This nigga's retarded. Yo, you want to die. At this point, I hope you get murked. At this point in time, I hope you get murked. Your life, all right? You, this situation, you're stupid. If something happens to you, it was because of you being dumb. If I see somebody getting killed and pulled into a room, I'm turning around and act like I didn't see sh okay? It's, it's fight or flight. And at this point, if he already murked somebody in an asylum, then... He he murked somebody crazy. Mm -mm, no, and I bet it was Buffalo Bill over there. It was uh, it, it was mm -mm, it was Michael over there getting people out the way. Like no, no, you saw Michael big ass coming out of the room like y'all make my chicken nuggets. Like no nah, hell no, no no, yep no 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 no. Peek inside the room, I saw one of the most disturbing things ever. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> you know that sound. When she, when she, when she, you know what I'm saying? You know, when she, you know what I'm saying? I would just let it play. It was the tall man I saw earlier. I told you it was Michael. He was biting the hell out of one of the nurse's neck. You can 
could see the nurse's eyes gouged out with blood pouring everywhere. I carefully made sure to not scream or make a sound. I got the hell out of there and you should have done that started already. driving off. Exactly. I even called the cops while driving. Exactly. To this day, I'm still traumatized by what I saw that night. I'm not sure exactly what happened to the tall man, but he still gives me the chills just thinking about him. Guys, moral of the story is, mind your fucking business.